Duke survives past Clemson. How, how do the Friar fans feel about Duke? <laughs> well, Tyrese Proctor. All right, Tyrese Proctor hit two late free throws with a second left, and Duke Duke beats Clemson 72 to 71. Jeff, this turned into a wild game. What's your take on Duke's win over Clemson? Well, I mean, listen, I thought it was a foul, but a lot of people are going to say that might not have been a foul on the road, right? That's a foul at Cameron. It might not have been a foul on the road. I thought it was a foul. You didn't think it was a foul? Really? I, if you have to ask that question, oh, it's, a it's a foul. If, if you have to say, I don't know if it's a foul. No, I think it was a foul. Then it's, it's yeah. I think it was a foul. I think that Clemson gets that call in their building. I don't think Duke does. At Clemson, I don't think it. Clemson gets that call at Cameron. It's just one Agreed. of those ones. Agreed. Agreed. One of those ones. Here, here's the, my, my bigger picture here is whether or not they won the game or not, to me, isn't as big a deal as the way Tyrese Proctor's played the last three games. Yes. He's averaging almost 20 points a game. This is a Tyrese Proctor that we needed to see, that we wanted to see, that we really haven't seen all year. The lottery pick Tyrese Proctor. Yes, and, and here's here's the most important part. I know what Clemson's record is. That's a damn good Clemson. Of course okay. it is. DJ Hall is a damn good player. Kyle Filipowski was terrible today. Point blank period, Kyle Filipowski was horrible. Jeremy Roach is banged up. He did not play all that yeah. well. Tyrese Proctor was awesome. I want to give a shout-out to Jeremy McCain, too. He hit a bunch of big shots. Remember, and, when, remember when you told me Kayla Foster would be the better, the better of the freshmen uh, back at the United Center? <laughs> oh, you mean the day he had like nineteen points? Yeah. yeah. And I yeah. said, this way. What happens in the Champions Classic, I dude? Said, Someone wait. goes nuts, and you what, never I hear know, from him again. Know, That's drive, what happens. Seven, yes. And I fall for it every damn drive. time. No, but Jared McCain not only scored twenty-one points tonight. He had three steals in, 50, in 56 seconds in the last two minutes of the game. That won that game for him. He made the plays. Proctor made the plays. You know who didn't? The two best players on Duke. Philipowski was, was, was not very good. He was not good. Yeah. But, but that is the beauty, right? Yeah, so they like, won the game. You can win without Philipowski having even a C game. He was it, awful. It makes you say, is this a situation for Duke? Where when they, the, the Friar fans here are saying a bad call today. Doesn't it make you say like, man, if they have their full complement of players, can they get up to that tier? That echelon, right? Yeah, they have a high upside. We know that. They have, they have a high ceiling. Who has a higher upside? Duke or Kansas? Duke. Duke. Why? Duke. Well, because they're younger, first of all. And you can see where their players are going. Like Kansas... Hunter Dickinson is what he is. Kevin McCullough is what he is. That bench isn't really coming. Right? Furphy's the only one that you could see making a huge jump. Jared McCain's still coming. Proctor's still coming. Flip is going to get healthier and he'll be fine. Define upside. Who do I think? Is that is it who makes it farther in the tournament? Or who no, ends up no, being a better saying, team? I'm saying, saying this se this team. Yeah, I'm saying right I, now, the state of things. Who do you who do you think can can do it more? I, I I think Duke has a higher upside in terms of who will be the better yes. team. Yes. I think that I would trust a Bill Self team to be deeper in the That's tournament. That's why I asked the question. Yeah. So, I, I mean, look, I think when the, when it's all said and done, both of them are like top 10-ish kind of teams. So, a, a, a quick interlude before we hit on North Carolina. The other takeaway this afternoon was people that we were obviously here, we were paying attention to every game, but the take starting to emerge here, the Atlantic Coast Conference could be like a three-bid league. Three. Terrence Oglesby, I know you're in your where car listening. It? Where is T.O.? <laughs> Jeff, like, Theo, where? this is a mid-major league now. Like, like you can't argue anymore. It, it looks like a mid-major league. Duke, Carolina, Clemson. If you were, if you were Jim Phillips, if you were at the ACC, how worried would you be about the state of your you league? You got to figure something out right now. And oh, by the way, like. Jim Laranega and, and Leonard Hamilton are going to be out soon. That's pretty good. They want to know where Terrence Oglesby is right now to answer for Listen, the ACC. You guys can't understand him anyway. Trust me. 